Imagine a Russian jetliner that could challenge the world's most famous airliner, the Boeing 737, and change the rules of commercial aviation forever. The MC-21 is more than just an ordinary airliner. It offers innovation, modern design efficiency, and passenger comfort signaling that narrow-body aviation could be on the brink of a revolution. But why is this Russian jet suddenly attracting worldwide attention? And how could it redefine Boeing's dominance? Let's take a closer look. When the MC-21 program was launched in 2007, it was not just another aircraft project, but Russia's bold statement to the world, we can build a modern competitive passenger aircraft. The goal was clear and ambitious to replace aging domestic fleets and assert its position in the global narrow-body market, which had been dominated for decades by giants like the Boeing 737. From the start, the jet promised cutting-edge technology combining cutting-edge international components such as Pratt & Whitney, PW1000G engines, and Western avionics with groundbreaking aerodynamics, including carbon fiber reinforced polymer wings, unprecedented for an aircraft of this type. The prototype, the MC 21300, was rolled out in June 2016 and made its maiden flight in May 2017, demonstrating that Russia can deliver both technical innovation and reliable performance. However, the journey has not been smooth. Geopolitical tensions and Western sanctions after 2022 have forced the program to shift towards full import substitution significantly. Rostec and UAC have led the effort to replace all imported components, including engines and avionics, with Russian-made alternatives ensuring production independence and industrial sovereignty. This effort resulted in the MC-21 3i10 variant powered by an all-Russian Aviad Vegatel PD-14 turbofan engine incorporating over 16 new technologies to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. The move to indigenous systems extended to the flight control systems, the Jet OS-based cockpit avionics and the hydraulics, allowing the program to continue without relying on Western suppliers. Throughout the 2010s, this program continued to develop with multiple prototypes to extend its flight range test system, integration, and prepare for certification. Delays were caused by the complex transition to Russian technology, which required extensive testing and redesign. As a result, the first all-Russian prototype completed its maiden flight in April 2025, a milestone that validated the new configuration of the aircraft and Russia's technological capabilities. Serial production was approved in March 2025 with Aeroflot as the launch customer, and the goal is to achieve full commercial certification by the end of 2026. Strategically, the aircraft program plays a central role in Russia's efforts to revive its aerospace industry, reduce its dependence on Western aircraft imports, and strengthen its position in the global aviation market. The aircraft combines high fuel efficiency, spacious passenger space, and modern manufacturing techniques, including a high proportion of composite materials and advanced aerodynamics. The program has received significant support with billions of rubles of investment planned and a target of producing up to 70 aircraft per year by the mid-2020s. Overall, the MC-21 reflects the combination of ambition, cutting-edge technology, and geopolitical needs that are shaping the future of Russian civil aviation. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our next aviation deep dive. The MC-21 has several technical advantages over the Boeing 737, especially when compared to the 737 MAX, its main competitor. One of the most notable differences is in the aircraft's structure. The aircraft uses about 30% composite materials in its airframe, especially in the wings, making it significantly lighter than the predominantly aluminum 737. This weight reduction improves fuel efficiency, extends range, and reduces maintenance costs, while the heaviest aluminum structure of its competitors is less aerodynamically optimized. Furthermore, the aircraft is equipped with Russian-made PD-14 turbofan engines 
each generating up to 16,500 kilogram force of thrust, operating more smoothly and reducing emissions. The engines use modern technologies such as high bypass ratios and composite fan blades laying the foundation for future upgrades and performance improvements. Meanwhile, the 737 MAX uses the proven highly reliable CFM LEAP engine but is built on older design principles. Aerodynamically, it has wider wings with a higher aspect ratio, reducing drag and increasing range, while also using advanced fly-by-wire controls and side stick systems with haptic feedback improving safety and pilot control. This is a change from the traditional joysticks of competitors and the MCAS system, which has come under intense scrutiny in recent years. Passenger comfort is another strong point of this project. The larger cabin can accommodate six people sitting side by side with more shoulder room, larger overhead bins, and a modern lighting system improves the in-flight experience. Operationally, the MC-21 is highly flexible, offering seating configurations ranging from approximately 150 to 201 passengers and the ability to operate from regional airports with shorter runways. This adaptability coupled with low operating and maintenance costs positions it as a strong competitor, especially in markets looking for modern and efficient technology. Despite its many advantages over its competitors, the program faces several significant challenges. First certification remains a major hurdle, largely due to the program's transition from Western components to fully domestic systems following international sanctions. To compete globally, the aircraft must meet strict flight standards set by agencies such as the FAA, ESA, and ICAO. Certification for the MC-21, which is expected to be fully imported by the end of 2026, has yet to be achieved. Several key systems, including anti-icing water vacuum collision, avoidance, weather radar, and electrical power systems, still need to be replaced domestically. These components are essential not only to meet international safety requirements, but also to access broader global markets. Additionally, supply chain management poses another major challenge. Russia must ensure stable domestic production of complex avionics materials and other critical systems amid sanctions that limit access to Western imports. Any delays or bottlenecks in the production of these components could disrupt assembly and slow down the program. Scaling up production adds even more complexity. The Irkutsk Aviation Plant aims to increase annual production from single digits to more than 30 aircraft by the late 2020s. To achieve this, Russia needs to seamlessly integrate its domestic production systems while maintaining high quality standards across the fleet. Yet Russia has yet to secure a single international order. Why has such a versatile aircraft gone unsold First international sanctions imposed on Russia have restricted the aircraft's access to many global markets and supply chains, limiting foreign operators' interest in investing in a Russian-made aircraft that relies heavily on domestic components that are still under development. Second, the MC-21 has yet to receive full certification from major international aviation authorities, which is necessary for sales outside Russia and approval for international operations. However, the aircraft has received numerous domestic orders led by Aeroflot, which plans to take delivery of around 200 aircraft by the early 2030s, with the first 18 deliveries scheduled to begin in 2026. In particular, other Russian airlines and leasing companies have also ordered nearly 100 additional jets supporting a production ramp up through the late 2020s. In terms of market positioning, the Russian aircraft project plays a unique and strategically important role. Rather than competing directly with global giants, the aircraft is primarily aimed at bolstering Russia's vast domestic air network and supporting airlines across friendly or closely allied regions. What began as a program to modernize Russia's aging narrow-body fleet and reduce its dependence on Western-made jets has gradually evolved into a broader symbol of the country's aerospace independence. Production targets are ambitious Russia plans to expand production 
to around 72 aircraft per year by 2029 to 2030, a significant leap from its initial small-scale production. The aircraft is expected to replace aging domestic aircraft and over time open up carefully targeted export avenues, particularly in markets receptive to Russian technology or looking for alternatives to Western manufacturers. However, global expansion remains challenging. Sanctions certification hurdles and supply chain constraints have severely limited the aircraft's market reach, making international penetration slow and uncertain. Russia's push for full import substitution, though costly and time-consuming, has shielded the program from political pressure. The aircraft's price has risen to around $50 million per unit, but government-backed leasing and financing are aimed at maintaining its appeal to domestic Russian and partner airlines. Looking ahead, UAC envisions an expanded family of aircraft from smaller 132-seat models to stretched versions that seat up to 256 passengers with intercontinental ranges exceeding 12,000 twilithorts. If realized, these variants could take on roles currently dominated by the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 positioning the MC-21 as a future multi-role competitor. Globally, the jet remains a newcomer finding its way through a challenging geopolitical landscape. But in Russia and its affiliated markets, it represents a breakthrough, an aircraft that combines modern engineering with strategic needs. Its future will depend on how effectively Russia can scale up production, secure certification, and maintain a stable supply chain. So does the MC-21 really have the potential to secure a long-term foothold in the global single-aisle market, or will geopolitics hold it back? Leave a comment below. Recently, the second prototype of the MC-21, fully equipped with domestic components, including the Aviad Vigatel PD-14 engine, completed its first test flight on October 28, 2025. The aircraft took off from the Irkutsk Aviation Plant and flew for about 50 minutes, reaching an altitude of 3,500 meters and a speed of up to 500 kilometers per hour. Piloted by a four-member crew, including Chief Test Pilot Andrei Voropayev, the flight successfully tested new Russian systems and engine integration, confirming that all systems were functioning normally. This fully Russified jet eliminates previous dependence on imported parts, increasing production stability amid Western sanctions. The aircraft will now enter certification testing, which is underway at the Gromov Flight Research Institute in Zhukovsky, with certification expected to be completed by the end of 2026. Flight tests are expected to continue with around 220 to 230 sorties planned to verify compliance with safety and regulatory standards. If all goes according to plan, this will pave the way for mass production and gradual modernization of Russia's narrow-body fleet with entirely domestically produced passenger aircraft. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Have a great day ahead. See you next time.